Hey, I'm Clayton Strums, and I'm here to teach you how to craft a little bit. We are actually going to take this and turn it into this. So to start our project, first we need to figure out what we're going to make. And in this case, I'm going to use Paw Patrol. I'm going to go with Chase because my son loves Chase and he's going to love just running around with this. So remember, this isn't for resale. I'm just finding a free photo. Um, a free line drawing, actually. So to find that, we're going to go to Google. As you can see, I've already got it up for you. So we're going to go to Google. I'm going to put in, you know, put whatever character you want, whatever you're looking for. So in this case, Chase, Paw Patrol, and we're going to search. We're going to go to Images, and here's your little trick. Come over to Tools, and it's going to drop down this little bitty menu right here, and I'm going to go to Type, and I'm going to hit Line Drawing. So now I've got all these. These are essentially color book pages. I've actually used this to create my own coloring book pages using my Cricut um, for all kinds of different projects. So here's the one that I like. I'm going to use this one. And all you've got to do is save it. If you're having issues with your quality, back up at the search bar, hit size, and go with medium or large because icons are going to be very, very small and hard to deal with. So again, medium or large should get the job done. And really find anything you could even put in chase paw patrol line drawing that will help i just like using i, I like to use these customized searches um, these tools a little bit more all right so here we are in cricut design space and we need to upload our photo so to upload our photo we're going to find where it's at i have it right here in my downloads and i'm going to go medium complex so you might have to play around with those settings to see what fits best with the picture that you grabbed so here i'm going to go to advance options and color tolerance I'm going to lessen this a little bit it's gonna make my life easier and then we're gonna come through and start checking everything except the actual line drawing so when you're coming through here just click away if you need to which you'll see in a second I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit just to get some of these smaller spaces So zoom in as much as you need to and make sure we get all these spaces right through here. And then we're going to hit continue. So there's also, if you go back, you could hit preview. Make sure you didn't miss anything. Kind of go through there. Um, there's certain times where you're going to want to add things, subtract things. You know, maybe you don't want to have this little white spot that's going to be on Chase's nose. But we're going to hit continue. And we don't want to print then cut, we want a cut. So this looks really clean, looks really nice. We're going to upload this one. As you see, I've done it before. We're going to insert this image into what we want to use, or into our Cricut Design Space. So there's a couple things that I need to change right off the bat. One, because the way Chase's face sits, his nose and his cheek area through here is actually going to be a different color than this space right here. And I can see I've got I've got openness, so I'm gonna have issues there. So I know I need to fix that. Um, I don't want the chase lettering being there. So here's my favorite trick. There, I'm gonna create a square. I'm gonna unlock the dimensions, and I'm just gonna make it big enough to cover up the chase words. I'm gonna select everything, and down here in the bottom right, I'm gonna hit slice. So what slice does disconnects this. I could actually make it to where. I could go this direction for cutting, coloring. There's a bunch of cool little things you could do. Um, and it's actually got two versions of this because of the way we cut it. But we could delete that. That brings us to our chase. So here he is. Before we get started, I am going to zoom in a lot to help me out. And I'm going to go up to that nose section. 
So right through here, we have like a light brown or almost like an orange kind of through here on his face, and this is more of a dark brown. So I need to close off this line. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to my shapes, and I use shapes quite often. So I've got a square here. Let's shrink it up, and let's change where I could change my sizes any direction I want. So it's kind of what I'm looking for there. And I just want it to be as smooth as possible. So we're going to angle it a little bit. And that's looking fairly good. Not perfect. And then I can actually clean this edge up right here by zooming in some more. As much as I can, honestly. Go to our nose section. And I am going to get a triangle. Shrink this down. And I want to try to blend this together a little bit better. We're going to unlock our sizing so we get a little bit crazier with it. Flip it around this direction. And boom, that makes it a little bit smoother. Perfect? No, not by any means. But it is a tad bit better. There we go. So it's going to be good enough for what we're looking at doing. So we're going to go ahead and zoom out. Select all of our stuff, and we are going to weld it. So when we weld, it attaches everything. It all attaches. There's no removing it. You can even see on this right side that it's all one piece at this point. So now we need to contour and create all of our colors. So we're going to hit duplicate a couple of times. And then this is where the fun and sometimes stressful part comes. So we're going to start contouring. We're going to hit contour. And right starting out off the bat, we're going to work on our black image on the back because we're going to layer everything on top of it. So we're going to hit hide all contours. So you can see on this right side, there's a ton of pieces there. We're going to try to stick to just marking things over on this left side. So let's close this out. Since we hit hide all contours, and boom, there's our black image in the background. So now let's start working on our first color. Our first color, we're going to, let's do blue. So we'll mark this dark blue to start out with. And we're going to hit hide all contours again. And then mark all of our areas that we want to be blue. So we know we got the hat. Boom, I can mark this little section right here. I think I'm going to leave that out. And that should be all of our blue. But don't forget, at the very top on this right side, we want to click that black, the, the top one. So that's going to get rid of all of our lines. So go ahead and close that out, and boom. So I'm going to bring this to the front, and I'm going to start building chase right here just to make sure I'm not missing anything I want to make sure is added in. So now let's go to our next color. Let's do our dark brown pieces. Contour, hide all contours just like before, and mark all of our brown pieces. So this is where it kind of starts getting finicky and you got to be very cautious. Take your time here. So number one, when you zoom in, make sure you drag to the side because the system, again, I love it and I hate it all at the same time. If Chase is over this and I'm zooming in or zooming out, it's also going to sometimes click things we don't want it to click. So let's zoom in a little bit and then we'll drag over. And so a portion that I want to remove because it's highlighted right now, is the inner ear. So we've got our black line drawing right there. This would be our pink section. So it's being finicky right now. So just take your time, move your cursor around. Maybe have a drink or six. There we go. It might have actually selected it the other way. So what we'll do is we'll close this. Oh, before we do that, make sure we hit that top one close it out. Boom. Oh, we actually got it. 
in the first go. Look at us go. Oh, but it actually, <laughs> so see, this is what I'm talking about. It does get finicky. Right here, this is actually that blue part, and we're missing that leg right here. But that's okay. We still have it selected. We're going to hit Contour. It's going to pull it back up. We'll unselect the little round part around Chase. Reselect the leg. There we go. Move it to the front. Make sure everything lines up. So we're going to re repeat this process over and over and over again until we get all of our colors. The next one we'll do pink, contour, hide all contours, select that inner ear part, and then again at the very top, make sure you check what's going to be our black lines in the background. So we close it out, boom. Move to the front. So without boring you, I'll speed this up and I'm going to finish this up right now. So as we finish this up, you can see it grabs some stuff we didn't want, and that was because of the zooming in, zooming out, scrolling left and right. So just patience is key. Drink some wine, have some whiskey, tequila, whatever makes you happy. And it's going to make it for a much smoother process, as long as you don't drink too much. And here's our final product as far as Cricut design is concerned. So you could add in some extra things here and there. You kind of tweak it up however you want. But this is essentially our done product right there. Now we just got to resize it. So to resize it, um, I've got my longer mat with me here at the office. And I know my longer mat is 12 by 24. And I want to make this chase as big as possible. So we're going to come up here to size at the top. And I know we can't go to the full 24 but I think we do 23.5 and on the right side I've got a couple errors so my biggest one is going to be the black background which will give us our black lines and it says it's too large because of the width the biggest it could be is 11.5 so it looks like the route I'm going 11.5 is the biggest oops we want to make sure everything's selected when we redo all these sizes so 11.5 no more error codes. You can get bigger, you can get smaller, of course. To get bigger, which we're actually gonna have to do, and I'll show you why here in a second, but to get bigger, you're just gonna wanna duplicate some things and make it to where you could glue it all together, staple it, tape it, um, or if you're using vinyl, you could just make it look nice and smooth without any you know, black lines in between. So what I'm gonna have to duplicate is the black one, because when I hit make it, You'll see here's everything we do, right? If you've done this before, you're familiar with it. But on the black background, it's going to give us our black lines. What we're building everything on, I don't have paper that is 12 by 24 or even close to this size. I only have, uh, the biggest I have is 12 by 12. So this is going to have to be cut. And to make sure that it glues properly, I don't have any issues there, I need to make sure that um, I have some overage here so I don't have any hard lines and I'm not using tape and it's falling apart. So let's go back and we're going to grab the black background. Let's just hit duplicate. Grab that one. Let's move this one to the front. Zoom out some. So here's our two pieces. So Clayton, how are we going to do this? It's a lot simpler than it seems. So my favorite tool grabbing the square so grab this square and we know for a 12 by 12 the biggest we could cut is 11 and a half inches so let's go ahead and make this height 11.5 so we're going to go 11.5 send this one to the front so i can make sure it's kind of where i need it to be boom so in fact, let's duplicate this square. 
duplicate. We're going to pull this one over here. So you can see I'm going to have a good overage right through here so I could glue it together. So just like I showed you to remove the chase wording across the top, we're going to come over here and hit slice. And it took this bottom piece off, took this top piece, and it sliced all these pieces that we don't need. So I'm going to delete, oops, we're going to delete this one, that one, and this one. So that leaves us with this top piece. As you can see, if I put it over, here's our overage, which is great. That's what we're looking for. So same concept on this side. We're going to slice, pull all our pieces apart, delete those. Oops, backwards. We're actually going to delete this side. So we've got 11.438 there. We have 11.32 there. So we're good. So whenever we go to put it together, we just line all this up around about there. And you can see it looks good. So if we take our chase, move all this to the front, put it back on top. Obviously our white's a little off there, but that's okay. It looks good. So when we go to make it, we end up with the sizing we need. And over here, since I don't have the 12 by 24 paper, I'll just put two pieces on there that are uh, 12 by 12, and that'll fit up perfectly. So on this blue one, we could see that we don't want this cut in half. Simply come over here, we're already in edit. We'll drop this one down. In fact, for paper usage, we'll drop it all the way around. We'll have a solid line here because of two pieces of paper, but we're not gonna have any lines that are through our design. So now I'm not gonna bore you with the process, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these together or cut all of them and then put them on our sheet and start gluing. I'll show you that process. So here we are. As I was cutting all my pieces out, didn't want to bore you with that, I just kind of threw them on there. I actually already glued my black pieces together. You went to kindergarten, you know how to glue. Um, so I put all my pieces down just so I could see how they all lay. I left these really little pieces off to the side for now. Um, I have my tweezers, because these are going to come in very, very handy when it comes to some of these smaller pieces, getting glue on them and then putting them down to make sure they stay. So the way I'm going to work this is I'm going to remove the eyes, the teeth, some of these smaller pieces and put them to the side. And then I'm going to work on my big pieces first just to make sure they're all lined up perfectly as I glue them down. And then I'm going to start with like these smaller pieces I'll work from the outside in just to make sure they're all lining up properly. So let's get to gluing just like kindergarten. So the camera died on me, but the only thing I had left to glue was this little dog collar. And you can see this thing turned out pretty awesome. I really like it. Here's the back, nothing on it, so you could tape it up, let the kids run with it. You could even do a pin the tail on the chase if you wanted, since there is no tail. I don't know why there wasn't a tail, but. So thanks for joining me and learning how to turn this into this. If there's anything else you wanna learn, make sure you reach out, leave it in the comments below. And as always, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you get notifications whenever another amazing video like this one comes up. I'll see you on the next one.